Leaving a mess and always leaving you happy. A lot has changed in the past 30 years, but Avante's commitment to your business remains the same. We're Avante Office Products, and we make your office work better. 1245 Oakler, AvanteOffice.com. The greatest hits of the week. Talk Shot with Scott Nichols on New Talk 980 CJME. This morning, joined by David Curtin. The accepted numbers are 128 killed, 300 injured. Among the 300 who are injured, 80 are in critical condition. 56 have been able to leave the hospital. Although the number of injured uh, came from the uh, Parisian Health Authority uh, approximately 45 to 50 uh, minutes ago. So those are new numbers. Uh, earlier on, we had thought about a 180. Now, uh, as well, we should again uh, just tell you if you're just getting up, uh, six. Separate locations were hit in the terrorist attacks uh, yesterday, around 4 o'clock our time, 3.30, uh, 4 o'clock our time yesterday. Uh, but it was evening in Paris, the Parisians were out uh, having a, a Friday night revelry, or they were attending a soccer game. At that soccer game at the uh, soccer stadium in uh, France, between Germany and France, uh, three suicide bombings uh, went off outside the stadium. Four people died there, but it could have been so much more. There were four separate attacks on restaurants and bars in various areas of France. And one of those restaurants uh, was, and I won't say coincidentally, but was close to the Charlie Hebdo headquarters in France. The site of a terrorist attack last January, which killed 12, wounded 11. The terrorists uh, attacking the Charlie Hebdo over its uh, cartoon uh, depictions of the Prophet Muhammad. And then, of course, the worst attack last night inside a concert uh, theater, the Bataclan Plan concert uh, theater in the Paris, where an American uh, band was playing to a crowd of about 1,500 uh, attackers. Uh, went in there through multiple doors, took the people hostage, and then started shooting them one by one and throwing explosives at them as well. Some 80 died inside that uh, concert venue alone. Uh, one of the the people who was inside that concert venue at the time called it a bloodbath. His name is Julian Pierce, and he spoke with CNN's Anderson Cooper. Yeah, I escaped because they reloaded, basically. I just waited for the time they reloaded to, uh, to run, to, to climb um, the, the scene, and to hide behind it. And uh, I tried to, to have people around me, and it was, it was shocking. I mean, it was panicking, huge panic. And uh, so they shot at us for 15, 10 to 15 minutes. It was long. It was very, very long. And um, the Bataclan is not a huge uh, concert room. It's, it's about 1,000 people can gather in it. And but it was, it was overcrowded. I mean, uh, there were no empty rooms.
happened so fast. I mean, I, we were just trying to hide and save our lives. So I looked at one guy for two times, and he, the one I, I described to you very young. And but he wasn't wearing technical stuff. Um, he was just a random guy. I mean, I could have uh, met him a few minutes before and never thought he was a terrorist. That's uh, journalist Julian Pierce uh, talking with CNN Anderson Cooper uh, yesterday uh, in the La Bataclan Theater where uh, 80 people were killed uh, during those terrorist attacks in Paris the last night. Uh, that one, uh, that venue, uh, was the, uh, tragically, where the most uh, casualties uh, came from. You're listening to continuing coverage of the terrorist attacks on Paris. Scott Nichols along with David Curtin on 650 CKOM and 980 CJME. Catch up on the best of what you missed. Talk Shop with Scott Nichols on News on 980 CJME.
Eiffel Tower with a circle around it. And it is the picture of peace. And that is just one act on social media today. Another act on social media, the hashtag, prayers for Paris, the number four, prayers for Paris. <clears throat> Lori Beth Jones, a Christian author, uh, got on social media and said, so sad about Paris attacks. May the city of lights outshine all the darkness. But my heart and thoughts are in Paris tonight. And always, an attack on humanity and our values. Bless you all. That's a tweet that came from Hayaba Zoldinger, who also invoked a famous line from the Reverend Martin Luther King. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. But then there is the other side. With reports, the attackers shouted, Allah Akbar, or God is greater, as they opened uh, fire at the Zapikland Concert Hall in uh, central Paris. Social media speculation quickly focused on Muslim extremists, and that prompted its own backlash on social media. Somebody who goes by the name of Bill.